Oh, yes. Welcome back, everyone. Today I'm bringing you a review for Transformers War for Cybertron Siege, Voyager Class Ape Face, and he is number 50 in the Siege line. Uh, Ape Face is uh, a pretty highly anticipated character. He did fairly recently get a new toy in the Titans Return toy line, but it was just a little Titan Master with a little uh, drone vehicle that resembled his alternate modes. So, you know, people that left people clamoring for a proper Ape Face, and we finally get one. Interestingly, he does not use the same mold as the Titan Master, you know, as far as the head and everything. Uh, and there's good reason for that, and we'll see that here in a second. He does very heavily lean into the uh, battle damage paint applications that the Siege line is known for. And, you know, some people like that, some people won't. But overall, I think we're going to get a very impressive figure. So if you know my reviews, you know how this goes. We're going to take a look at Eight Face's packaging. We'll get a gander at his instructions, and then we'll look at Eight Face himself in his three different modes. Uh, you know, do some group shots, things like that. And at the end, I'll give my final thoughts. So his packaging right here, you can see him's got him front and center. Uh, my copy is head's turned to the side a little bit, but you know, whatever, no big deal. You get this really nice artwork of him on the side. It looks like he. Uh, Presumably it just transformed out of jet mode and he's like coming in for a crash landing in the battlefield. So very cool, very dynamic. Uh, you can't see it, but there is the secret code on here. And in Ape Face's case, the secret code is Turbo Worm. And admittedly, I'm actually not sure what the connection is there. Uh, so somebody feel free to educate me in the comments section. Uh, but either way, you know, very cool picture. And then if you go on the website for Siege, you can put in, you know, Turbo Worm and get some Little special goodies, probably a wallpaper or something like that. Then on the back, you just have you know, your typical renders. You got all three of his modes, and it shows it takes 20 steps to go from Jet to uh, Ape or Gorilla, and then 21 steps to go from the Beast mode to his Robot mode. Uh, so nice and complex, just the way I like it. Got a cross cell for some Battle Masters here. And one thing you're gonna see is that Ape Face, he uses the uh, now standardized Titan Master system for his Headmaster component. So it is, you know, technically compatible with, you know, any Headmaster type characters from Titan's Return onward. And then of course, on this side, you just got your standard Siege artwork. Okay, so here's the instruction booklet. Let's see, big old render of Ape Face here. Again, he is Warp Subtron Siege number 50. Open it up, and over here on the edge, it gives his weapons loadout in Autobot Alphabet. So his gun here is called an, uh, sorry, a Sonic Boomer Blaster. Okay, Sonic Boomer. And then the shield here is just called an Electro Shield, so not very original. Uh, the bulk of this side is the transformation from robot to ape mode. It even shows you how to Remove his little headmaster, tight master, and replace it. And then the back side here is mostly the ape to jet mode transformation. You can see that there. It also shows you where he can uh, place his little partner, who goes by the name of Spasma, by the way. And you'll see Spasma doesn't get his own section here to call out his name or transformation or anything. So I guess with all the stuff going on between the triple changing and the uh, Siege um, combat system that they have, all that. They just didn't feel like making room, I suppose. And you got cross cells down here, of course, which this would have been a fine place to put something about Spasma in there, but oh well. And uh, yeah. Alright, we're going to start Ape Face off in his gorilla mode. And you can see here, it's a pretty darn faithful recreation of the original Toys mode. Uh, you know, he's got his jet kibble on the back here which just kind of serves to kind of augment the size of his weapon there so he's got this back mounted cannon arms are surprisingly on a ball joint which is not something you see in a siege very much which kind of leads credence to the theory that this toy was originally designed during titan's return and got shelled for a while so i don't know maybe could be I could see the uh, the arguments for it. But yeah, uh, arm articulation is great. The arms, the biceps don't bend forward very far. It's as far as they go. So I wish that were a little less limited, but oh well. 
uh, the wrists are on a hinge there. You can see he's got his hands in kind of like a hook position. And you can see his legs, uh, the thighs can only go up about that far. They can go all the way back. Got a lot of kibble on the side there, which can't really be helped. And then bends at the knees, bends at the ankles. So you can get him in some dynamic poses. The head itself is also on a ball joint and has pretty limited range of movement just because of a clearance issue. So we can look down a bit, kind of look around. That's about it. Uh, very cool looking. Love the teeth that they molded and painted there. And the top half of the head um, is actually formed by the Titan Master Spasma, um, specifically in kind of like the backwards configuration, which you'll see more of that. And you know, it just, it looks very good. This guy has a lot of personality to him. I really do like the way his beast mode looks. Looks, you know, doesn't look like an afterthought, which is something I was worried about. Uh, this part right here, which comes off to become a shield, is painted uh, clear plastic. It's the same clear blue as this like rear cockpit here. So just be careful with that. Uh, it does peg in via a five millimeter port. Uh, just don't cram it in too hard because you don't want to put too much stress on it trying to pull it off because it might snap on you. So just please be careful. Uh, it's got some nice paint and tampos here on the front. And the underside looks fairly clean for a triple changing beast mode. So overall, I really like this guy. I never owned the original Eight Face or anything. This is my first time really experiencing the toy at a scale larger than, you know, Titan Master. Which, speaking of, boop, here is Titan Master Eight Face from the Titan's Return toy line. And you know, the Titan Master himself is this little guy up here and his little vehicle takes the form of an ape, which is obviously meant to resemble this guy. And, you know, does a fairly good job of it. It's got the visor eyes, the teeth, all that. And uh, this vehicle is also capable of turning into a jet, just like Ape Face, so you'll see that here in a moment. Uh, but yeah, it's just, it's neat. It's like Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr., you know? All right, we're gonna go ahead and pull Spasma out of the ape head. That's what everything looks like underneath. So it's kind of got his own little face there. Uh, kind of reminds me of Brunt's head a little bit. Kind of the visor eye and uh, looks like a gas mask mouth part. But he is a Titan Master, just like the name implies. So you can unfold him, his arms do articulate, though not a lot of range of movement because they're thicker than usual. Uh, but there he is. Uh, my copy the hinge for the waist is a lot tighter than the hinge for the knees, so it takes a little bit of struggling to get him to fold and unfold and all that. But yeah, uh, he looks really good. This is a really nice paint job they did on the face, which, you know, during Titan's Return, Hasbro was very, very paint-phobic when it came to the little Titan Masters. They tended to just leave them unpainted, so it's nice that they're stepping up a little bit. And this guy does very much resemble his classic self in his robot mode. Now what makes this toy unique is that, you know, it's got two faces. On the back is the typical backpack face, but then the back of his legs are Ape Face's robot face. So very different, and I imagine it will create some compatibility issues. It's not going to fit in every cockpit or vehicle that a Titan Master normally would. And for comparison, pull out Titan Master Ape Face, who you can see was not designed to look like Spasma, but to look like Ape Face himself. So very, very different. And um, you can see the head sculpt has been altered dramatically between the two. This one's much boxier, which is kind of by necessity the way the toy's designed. This one's much more angular and kind of stylized. And even black eyes instead of red for some reason. So quite different looking in comparison, but both very cool. Okay, now it is time to transform Ape Face into his jet mode. So we're gonna start off by removing Spasma from the Ape Head, just set him aside for now. Take this gun, remove it, turn it 180, and then move it up to this uh, five mil hole that's further out. I'm gonna go ahead, attach the Ape Face, 
the gorilla head assembly. So move this stuff out of the way. I'm gonna go ahead and take his little shield bit off carefully. I would just kind of gently wriggle it out there until it comes off. You can see there's no actual clear part uh, visible. It just shows that through it. Just a whole interesting little layering going on. The wings, we're gonna pull up, see they come out a bit, like so. I just turn them to the side, get them out of the way a bit. back down and you're gonna kind of wriggle this take some repositioning bend that down a bit bend the eight face down try not to scratch any paint and you just kind of press it down in the cockpit like that so that's what we're gonna do right there make sure these parts stay in place the ape arms you're gonna fold up into themselves so fold the wrist back Pull the arm back, same on this side, like that. And you're going to rotate these backwards until they attach there. And here I'm kind of click into place. Let's get them out of the way like that. The uh, rear legs, you're going to bend all the way back like that. Up and they have kind of a soft little click, too. You can see that nub right there, there's a little hole. Just bring it till it just kind of seats. All right, you're gonna take the nose cone section, fold it all the way forward, and you can see there's these holes there, in like the ape shoulder area. You just plug into so take a little bit of wriggling around there it's kind of loose in this configuration but you can get on there just like that perfect and let's see the wings now you just kind of press them down into place or splayed out and there you go that is jet mode oh yeah tuck that in there by the way all right so nice and solid now we're going to take spasma put them in a Modified sitting position. I'll show you why. You got this rear cockpit. It opens up. You got the little pegs for his Titan Master feet to slide onto. And I mentioned that his hip joint is a lot, uh, a lot tighter than the knees. So what I do is I kind of bend the knees forward, get them plugged in, and then just carefully wriggle him back until he sits in there like that. Close the cockpit, and you, and you put the shield back over it, and you know, try to be careful. Hit voila! This is the completed jet mode. You know, very alien looking, definitely, you know, alien or Cybertronian origin. Now, there is a way to kind of cheat this if you want Spasma to sit in the actual, you know, jet cockpit. You can place him inside of uh, the gorilla head, just upside down to where his robot head is sticking up, but then you also gotta turn the robot head around, and then you know, you'll know you be, in theory, able to see his head there in the cockpit. Uh, I don't know if that's intentional or not on the de designer's part, I'm not really sure. Oh, also, he's got the little nubs here so you can attach you know, blast effects and stuff like that onto him. But overall, very solid. Once you get everything plugged in, it holds together very well. It's not floppy or anything. And just, it's a cool little jet mode. And honestly came out better than I expected it to. So very nice. Here we can see the jet mode along with the Titan's Return version. Just this little mini jet here. And you can see this is where the coloration kind of falls apart. They really don't match up very well. Though they did go out of their way to paint the nose cone that reddish color to somewhat harken back to the original design. Seeing these two together really makes me appreciate the fact that they did finally give us a full-size Ape Face toy. A lot of people, myself included, were very let down when they just released him as a Titan Master in a line that is all about Headmaster characters. 
I mean, you got, you know, the Autobot Headmasters, you got the smaller Decepticon Headmasters, but didn't get Ape Face and Snapdragon, so big letdown to people. And again, I would not be shocked if this toy was originally planned for Titan's Return. I mean, it really fits the MO. Has the Titan Master gimmick, he is a triple changer Voyager. Uh, a lot of his design choices do really seem to harken back to that toy line. So, at the very least, they probably had, like, the concept drawn out. You know, they probably had a, maybe even a prototype, who knows. But, uh, you know, better late than ever, right? Now, for kind of the big reveal, we're going to go ahead and transform into robot mode. So, same as always, you want to remove the accessories, so let's get the shield off. Again, very carefully. Probably not going to transform this guy too many times after this, just because I'm really afraid of breaking this thing. I hate to have it snap. Go ahead, take the gun away. Take Spasma out of the cockpit if you need to. And just kind of fold him back up. Set him off the side. Now we're going to lift the wings so they can have some clearance and be out of the way. I'll fold them back like so. Just flip them around. So we're going to detach the robot arms from what are now kind of his shoulders. Straighten them out. Just kind of get them out of the way. Get thwarted by them. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. As you can see, that's, that's on the ball joint, so that's good. Hinge and swivel. Always preferred. All right, got to flip his fists out, which luckily aren't too tight. Just kind of got to get a finger in there, pull it out. Like so. Right now, we'll see he's got these little tabs on the back of his gorilla feet. He's got slots right here. So you're going to press the wingtips into those tabs. You're still going to leave them pulled out here at the base where they're supposed to be. All right, next, we're going to go ahead and get this nose cone bit out of the way. I'm just going to unplug it from there. Just kind of peel it back for a moment. Now the gorilla leg bits or gorilla arms. We're going to pull them away. Gonna untab what are becoming his shins from his gut there. complex motion, kind of reminiscent of Siege Megatron's transformation, but you're going to extend them until they look like that. And you're going to rotate these in, you have to wriggle it to get the right clearance, press those in, those become kind of the backs of his uh, calves there, and flip these down to make the feet, like so, and this is on little hinge there to get the ankle tilt. Same thing over here. Make sure it all presses in. Again, we have to fight with it a little bit just to get it all in place. There you go. Foot down. Alright. Most of the way there. Now this bit to go up and actually tab into the base of his wings. So just press it in there nice and firmly. Oops. Get in there. And then that cockpit's going to tab into that cockpit, like so. Alright. And I believe we just leave the gorilla head like that. Just kind of fold this piece in, get out of the way. Instructions don't really say. Alright. Now we're going to plug his head in. And best way to do it, plug it in, you know, kind of backwards where you got the gorilla version showing, and then just turn it. And that gives you enough leverage to spin his little Titan Master head around more easily to get the proper robot face. And then the last thing you want to do naturally, attach his accessories. So we'll hold his blaster in this hand, like so. Attach a shield to his forearm. And be careful. And, uh, you know, there you go. This is Robot Mode Ape Face. 
and he is fantastic. He looks like he'd be very back heavy with all this, you know, uh, back kibble there, but I don't really have an issue with it. He stands up very well, well balanced, and I just I absolutely love the way this guy looks. As a siege toy, this guy does hit most of the points of articulation you expect. Uh, he doesn't have a race swivel or anything, but he does have hinge and swivel for the shoulders, bicep swivel, single shoulder hinge. I mean, there's like a backwards extra hinge, but it look kind of weird. Uh, head is on a little ball joint because of the Titan Master. He doesn't have waist swivel or anything because of his transformation. Uh, hinge and swivel for the hips. Thigh swivel up high there. Single bend knees and ankle tilt. So doesn't hit every single point, but I think he does well enough. You know, with the amount of things he has to do, I, I'd be astounded if they actually managed to get waist swivel out of this guy. So, not complaining. He's very, very cool. Now, if you want to have some fun, you could swap out his normal head with the Titan's Return one. If you want a kind of a sleeker, more stylish design, which personally, I kind of prefer this one. You know, it does rob him of his full, you know, gimmick and everything. Obviously, this isn't going to work for the gorilla mode. But it does give you that option if you'd rather display him like this. The purple paint here on the face matches up really well to the purple plastic and paint on this guy's, uh, you know, the body. So it's very visually appealing. So it kind of puts him in the same class as um, Titans Return Repugnus, where you can use the stock head, or you can use the alternate, you know, Titan Master one, or even the Legends one. You know, whatever floats your boat. But it's always good to have options. Now, if we want to get really meta and quirky, we can even have him wielding himself as a gun. So. You know, fun times, options. It does pay to be a collector sometimes and have more than one version of a given character. And that really brings us to the end of the video. Um, you know, final thoughts on this guy. I absolutely love him. He's one of my favorite things to come out of Siege or maybe Titan's Return, if rumors are to be believed. Uh, he's just so much fun. He's the second triple changer we've gotten for the toy line, aside from Springer, so very cool to have. Uh, one thing I didn't really address is he does have a pretty copious amount of battle damage paint on him, which you know, a lot of people just groan, roll their eyes at, they really hate it, which is fine, that's their taste. And I think, you know, on some toys it does come off as a bit tacky. Uh, he's got a lot of it, specifically here on the shins, the shoulders, the nose cone. But I think, in this case, it actually kind of works. It does look like, you know, battle damage and scraping more than just splotch paint. So, I like it. It looks good on him. He's supposed to be kind of a rough character, so. Yeah. Uh, they're starting to show up in stores right now. Uh, currently, if they're still in stock, you can get them on Amazon for $25. So, heck of a deal if you can nab one. Uh, the cross-play with a, you know toy line that's like two iterations ago is fantastic and overall he's just a very solid toy and I think much better looking than the original toy you know the robot mode on G18 face is very wonky so yeah uh, I absolutely love this guy you know there's no tolerance issues on my copy so I'm not disappointed and I very very strongly recommend picking him up but of course that is only how I feel I would love to know what you think of Ape Face in the comments section. Are you happy to pick him up? Do you think he's not worth it? You know, something wrong with him? Love to hear your feedback in the comments section. If you enjoyed this review, make sure to toss it a like. Let YouTube know that you're enjoying these things. If you want to see more like it or any of my other Transformers content, make sure to hit subscribe and the notification bell so you always get a heads up when I post something new. I thank you for joining me on this look at Robo King Kong, who turns into the very thing that killed him. I wonder if that was intentional, by the way. But, with all that said, I will see you next time.